Hello everyone, welcome, Simchik here today with a tutorial slash inspirational video. We are going to be only using snowy escape and base game items, and this is also sort of my like buy slash build review of snowy escape in a way. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm going to put on the screen the little cheat sheet I use in the game and as always BB dot move objects will be circled because you definitely need that one on to make these items and I real quick wanted to say thank you so much to all 286 subscribers you guys have stuck with me while I took a two-week break so thank you for understanding we are going to be doing a little bed frame idea and I'm going to move this. I don't know if you guys could actually even tell that that was a combination of another item, but they blend so well together. We have the bed from Snowy Escape and guys, I love the bed comforter texture that they did. It just looks so great. So you place your bed down and then you're going to take your couch, your love seat that we got from Snowy Escape. You're going to hold control and alt. And you're gonna, just going to place it back far enough to where you don't see the lines, the wood lines on the couch anymore. You just see the fabric. And it really looks nice, even though this couch isn't the same color as the bed frame. So this is the one that matches. If you can see closely on these little edge pieces right here, they'll change. But I just, I loved how this one looked. Also, take it back further you're still going to have somewhat of the illusion of like a fabric bed frame, but not nearly as much as that. And I did dress up the rooms a little for you guys. So yeah, look number one. I really don't know how many looks there are. I'm just showing you ideas. <laughs> but okay, so we're onto the living space now. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably have saw this. So we actually have this guy here. It's a chair from Eco Lifestyle. And what we do is we press the nine key to raise it up and then we downsize it with the bracket and we're gonna go over here we're gonna rotate it and this part is important so you're gonna take your chair that you've raised up and downsized one time each way and we're gonna hold control and alt and you want to watch how I line it up right with like the edge of the chair it kind of disappears once you like combine it with the sofa. And so it kind of creates the illusion that the sofa has arms. And again, over here, I forgot to raise this up. Okay, there we go. All right, so then just like that, and I think they're pretty even. There's this look as well, and it looks really good with the sofas that have patterns on them as well. We're on to the next one now. So this look, it kind of gets a little tricky. We have a bed here from Snowy Escape, along with this locker that's actually facing the other direction. We are going to take it and we rotate it to face the back. So then we just have this plain wood look here. And we're gonna hold Control and Alt, push it back as far as it'll go into the wall. And also on the sidewall as well. So it looks really good in a corner, but you could also just place it freely along the wall wherever. Whatever your heart desires, to be honest. This is just my idea of it. To do the shelf though, because the shelf likes to clip to the wall, right? And we want to place it freely. So we need to delete the surrounding walls. You might have to delete quite a few. And then we're going to take the shelf, rotate it how you want it to place, and we're going to hold it and get it as close as we can to the locker. And we're going to raise it up however high we want, which I think I want it right about there. Since it's freely moving about, you don't have to hold control and alt to place it. We put the walls back, and now I'm going to take the bed and I'm going to actually push it back into the locker so the headboard disappears so then it kind of looks like it's all just one piece i'm like obsessed with this look i don't know why i think it kind of reminds me of like a murphy bed in a way but obviously this is not one we have our little end table that we decided to use as this is actually a bar stool 
from Snowy Escape and I just decided to use it as an end table instead. And I just raised up items using the number nine key to place a light and a plant on there as well. I really, really love this look and I love the purple shades. And I really love all of these swatchings that we got with um, Snowy Escape. I'm not like a huge fan of like the snowboard guy ones or the void critters. I don't know. I love this one though. Oh my gosh, he is so freaking cute. Okay, okay, okay. Getting distracted. Let's go to the next one. So this is the safety deposit box. And if you haven't discovered yet, the back of these are really beautiful. The designs that they put off put on them, I really love. And you can do so much with these, especially like the little flowery ones and like these like geometric um, designs. Is that the right word? Geometric? I don't know. Anyways, modern looking. I'm not sure. So, we have a safety deposit box. Okay, you're going to need that. And then, you're going to need the dresser that we got from Snowy Escape. So, you're going to downsize it once with the bracket key, which you can see now it's the same size as the ones I have placed already. And you're going to place two down. And it's kind of nice because you don't have to hold control and alt when doing this look. So you just take two, downsize them, and then you just overlay them like that. And then you take your safety deposit box. You want to, you know, rotate it to make sure that the, the design is facing out. And then you're just going to place it like that. And voila! It doesn't seem forced, which is nice. We're gonna go on to this space now. And I'm actually going to be making a tiny house out of this look. And I think it would look nice in a bedroom for kids, um, not just in like a residential lot, but also for like a vacation home. I could really see that in and for dorm rooms as well. So we have, again, the safety deposit box. Yes, guys, I am obsessed. And we have two of them. So you're gonna hold control and alt more than likely to place these down. We're gonna take our bed from Snowy Escape, holding control and alt, and you're just gonna place it back into the tea cabinet far enough to where it looks like one item from like this angle. Uh, you do kind of have to leave this part out on the headboard so that way like pillow is not inside of the safety deposit box and i did it on both sides and then i actually took this table instead of a desk and i placed it over the beds kind of like to serve as I just own like little nook and i was going to use a desk but the desk don't allow you to place chairs every you want on there and so the table has about six different slots that the chair can attach to and so it works out perfectly to like make like a little desk and because there's so many color options you can really make something out of this look really neat so then our next look which is our last one is the safety deposit box again and the love seat we did get like a little puff ottoman from snowy escape but i took the left seat and i held control and alt and i pushed it back far enough and so then it created a look of an ottoman and even in game we don't really have an ottoman that looks like this so you could carry on the look so we did that with the love seat and there are two of these safety deposit boxes combined and they really overlay well you can't really tell that there are two items combined together so that's nice and i put a little sign above there and then over here don't mind my sim we have the chairs that we got and what i did was i was like okay i can create the same concept with these chairs as i did at love so i held control and alt and i just pushed it back far enough to where it would create a little ottoman and then i just placed another chair with it to pair them together and i thought the one with the throw over it really complemented the whole room nicely i really hope you guys did enjoy this video i had such a great time making the items i am working on a speed build hopefully to bring you guys fresh Friday. Have a lovely morning, night, afternoon, wherever you are, and I will be speaking to you all very soon. Bye!